This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. You ever have this thing happen? You're walking along halfway to work and suddenly you realize that your bag feels like almost too light? And that must mean you've forgotten your laptop. You know, this has been my life for the past few weeks, except every time I've opened my bag, I've realized that my laptop actually is in there. It's just so light, I didn't even notice it. This is the LG Gram 17, and it's not just the lightest laptop I've used in a long time, it's also the largest. The last time I carried a 17-inch laptop as my daily, it was this HP Monster I bought when I was still in college. And I have to say, having that huge display back is a real pleasure. The Gram's IPS panel offers gorgeous color, though its glossy coating is reflective enough that you'll have to crank that brightness more often than you'd like. I found the picture plenty sharp, even without 4K, but I do wish LG had included a touchscreen option. And I have the same complaint about the lack of discrete graphics. On some level, a 17-inch notebook that can't play intense games or handle heavy video editing just feels like a wasted opportunity. Oh, and the speakers? They're bad. Now, of course, adding those features would have also added weight. And the number one reason you buy an LG Gram is because it feels like it's full of helium. At 2.95 pounds, it's 26% lighter than the MacBook Pro I usually carry every day. And the display is substantially larger, while not going so much bigger on the footprint that it can't fit in the same backpack. Better yet, unlike with the MacBook Pro, you don't have to listen to me complain about the lack of ports on the Gram. You've got three USB-A ports, full-size HDMI, a headphone jack, and Thunderbolt 3. Rounding things out is a micro SD card slot too, which comes in handy if you shoot on GoPros or you fly a lot of drones. True story, I was at a house party recently where a Parrot drone met an unfortunate end. No, I wasn't piloting. And once we got it back, the LG Gram played a big part in the accident investigation phase, thanks to that card slot. While that once again calls to light the unfortunate lack of a beefier graphics card, at least there's solace to be found in the battery life. Eight hours of continuous use per charge is my benchmark for acceptability in a laptop, and the Gram hit that perfectly during a day's worth of my typical workload. For recharging, the Gram ships with one of those brick-on-a-string AC adapters that I'm not a big fan of, but fortunately you also have the option of charging with USB-C, so now you can carry fewer chargers. The Gram also has most of the expected accoutrement to slot nicely into the day-to-day -day for Windows 10 users. A fingerprint sensor built into the power button, a webcam sharp enough to show off your exhausted sick face from the summer cold you picked up at that drone party, and despite its lightness, it passes the one-handed opening test. Also, bonus bonus time, the backlit keyboard also packs a dedicated number pad. You don't realize how much you miss this until you've got it back whether you're running numbers in Excel or wasting imps in Doom. I do wish LG had built in a space or a divider between the numpad and the keyboard, though you end up with a lot of mistypes until you get used to it being there. Oh, and watch that keyboard deck when you're adjusting the volume or brightness. The nanocarbon magnesium casing is full of flex, from here all the way up to the display corners, here. Now that flexibility is no accident. That's what makes it possible for this gram to take a fall just as well as the others I've tested. Ooh, that was a particularly brutal one from about four feet, and I had to pop a few tabs back in on the casing afterward. But what can I say? That and the somewhat flimsy feel in hand is the price you pay for the thing still working after a drop like that. To keep the laptop healthy on the software side, please stick with me for a word from today's sponsor, after which I'll bring you my final verdict. If you're like me, you do a lot of interneting in public places like coffee shops, and you're not entirely comfortable passing your private data over those public pipes. That's where my sponsor, Surfshark VPN, comes in. It encrypts all the information sent to or from your computer and mobile devices, protecting you from attackers. If you're overseas and want to watch a show or game that's only available back home, Surfshark makes that possible too. Those irritating pop-up ads with their malware and trackers, 
toggle clean web and they're gone. And if there's a site you want to whitelist, well, that's easy too. There are a lot of VPNs out there, but only Surfshark gives you all this at 83% off. Just click the link below and enter the promo code Mr. Mobile. And if that's not enough for you, the same code gets you one month free. Try Surfshark VPN today at the link in the description below. So, should you buy the LG Gram 17? Well, after a couple weeks with this, I'm serious, every other laptop out there feels like, in the words of my Android Central friends, an absolute chonk. The Gram seems to defy the laws of physics, and it'll keep up with most folks' day-to-day -day needs just fine. But you know, so do a lot of other, less expensive machines. At $1,700, you've got to be both in love with the notion of a huge display and forgiving of the lack of graphics power to take advantage of it. At the end of the day, you're just paying for extreme portability, which as Mr. Mobile, I'm of course all about, but you're laying out a lot for the privilege of carrying a little. Folks, I've got more laptop reviews coming down the pipe, including a Dell that knows when you're looking at it. Subscribe to the Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss that. Be sure to check out Windows Central's review of the LG Gram 17, linked right here. This review made possible by a Gram 17 review unit on loan from LG. I don't accept money for reviews, and LG also did not get copy approval. That means they're seeing it for the first time here on the channel, just like you. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.